Bereshit, Genesis 30. And when Rachel saw that she bore Yaakov no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto El Yaakov, Give me children, or else I die. And Yaakov's anger was kindled against Rachel. And he said, Am I in Elohim's stead? Who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold, my maid Bilhah, go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her. And she gave him at Bilhah, her handmaid, to be his woman. And Yaakov went in unto her. And Bilhah conceived and bore Yaakov a son. And Rachel said, Elohim has judged me and has also heard my voice and has given me a son. Therefore called she his name Dan. And Bilhah, Rachel's maid, conceived again and bore Yaakov a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took at Zilpah her maid and gave her Yaakov to be his woman. And Zilpah Leah's maid bore Yaakov a son. And Leah said, A troop comes, and she called at his name Gad. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bore Yaakov a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called at his name Asher. And Reuven went in the days of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them unto his mother el Leah. Then Rachel said to el Leah, Give me, I pray you, of your son's mandrakes. And she said unto her, Is it a small matter that you have taken at my man? And would you take away at my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore he shall lie with you tonight for your son's mandrakes. And Yaakov came out of the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him and said, You must come in unto me, for surely I have hired you with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night, and Elohim hearkened unto El Leah, and she conceived, and bore Yaakov the fifth son. And Leah said, Elohim has given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my man. And she called his name Yishikar. And Leah conceived again, and bore Yaakov the sixth son. And Leah said, Elohim has endued me with a good dowry. Now will my man dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. And she called at his name Zevalun. And afterwards she bore a daughter and called at her name Dinah. And Elohim remembered at Rachel, and Elohim hearkened to her and opened at her womb. And she conceived and bore a son and said, Elohim has taken away at my reproach. And she called at his name, Yosef, and said, Yahuwah shall add to me another son. And it came to pass when Rachel had born at Yosef, that Yaakov said unto Laban, send me away that I may go unto my own place and to my country. 
Give me at my women and at my children for whom I have served you, and let me go, for you know at my service which I have done you. And Laban said unto him, I pray you, if I have found favor in your eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that Yahuwah has blessed me for your sake. And he said, Appoint me your wages, and I will give it. And he said unto him, You know at how I have served you, and at how your cattle was with me. For it was little which you had before I came, and it is now increased unto a multitude. And Yahuwah has blessed you since my coming, and now when shall I provide for my own house also? And he said, What shall I give you? And Yaakov said, You shall not give me anything. If you will do this thing for me, I will again feed and guard your flock. I will pass through all your flock today, removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle and all the brown cattle among the sheep and the spotted and speckled among the goats and of such shall be my hire. So shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come, when it shall come for my hire before your face. Every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats and brown among the sheep, that shall be counted stolen with me. And Levan said, Behold, I would it might be according to your word, And he removed that day at the he-goats that were ring-straked and spotted, and at all the she-goats that were speckled and spotted, and every one that had some white in it, and all the brown among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of his sons. And he set three days' journey betwixt himself and Yaakov, and Yaakov fed at the rest of Levan's flocks. And Yaakov took him rods of green poplar and of the hazel and chestnut tree and pilled white strakes in them and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he set at the rods which he had pilled before the flocks in the gutters in the watering troughs, when the flocks came to drink, that they should conceive when they came to drink. And the flocks conceived before the rods, and brought forth cattle, ring-straked, speckled, and spotted. And Yaakov did separate the lambs, and set the faces of the flocks, toward the ring straked, and all the brown in the flock of Levan. And he put his own flocks by themselves, and put them not unto Levan's cattle. <clears throat> and it came to pass, whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive, that Yaakov laid at the rods before the eyes of the cattle in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the cattle were feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler were Levans, and the stronger Yaakov's. And the man increased exceedingly, and had much cattle. And made servants and men servants and camels and asses